Hi everyone, it's Natasha and I want to talk about the Munchkin Latch bottle. Um, this is definitely an amazing bottle. Um, if you can see inside, this will stretch out. I, I just don't want to use it because now I have to sterilize it again. But um, so what I've noticed is um, because, oh, it's still a little bit wet, so I actually have to put it back there to dry. So, um, this has ridges here, and whenever my baby does use it, this is very flexible. It goes, like, everywhere, so it does feel like, um, their mom's breast. So, it, I think it's supposed to mimic that just so, you know, it's not, like, like, they can still really um, feel that I'm at a little bit closer to breastfeeding. Um, since I have to still supplement, I have to do a bottle. And when I'm out of the house, there have been a lot of times that, well, the few times that I've tried, my baby and I were having a hard time. But this is due when I was still using the nipple shield. And I'm not using that anymore, so we shall see. But, oh, this is still wet. So anyway, I had this as a demo. Um, this is the four ounce bottle. Um, my husband has even noticed that my, um, our baby loves this bottle compared to the Tommy TP. We used that one and there's another one or two that we used as well before. And um, he would take it, but versus this one, this one, oh my gosh, he would attack the bottle. Attack the bottle. Like, I don't even, I, don't, I can't even do what he does. <laughs> like, he would get so excited. Like, he knows the bottle so much. Um, as I mentioned before, this top right here, that's very flexible when my baby eats. The bad side about it is because it's so pliable and it moves around, is that whenever he's eating a little bit too excitedly, um, this will actually sink in, like the um, the the top of the nipple will sink in, and I have to let it sit in the table like this and wait for it to pop out. Um, I got this on Amazon and I got the three pack, and for where I was checking everywhere, it was the best deal. Also, this is supposed to help with colic. Um, my baby can be gassy. And there were times in which he was extremely gassy. But it was because of what I was taking as a supplement. And not because of the bottle. Because I stopped taking those things. And he's still using the same bottle. And he hasn't had the problem again. Do I recommend this? Yes. Every single time in my breastfeeding groups... There are a lot of moms out there that are asking for a bottle. What bottle would you recommend? They would try all different kinds of brands. I would only say one, and it would only be this. Um, I have I mean, we love this bottle. We use it every day. Um, I just don't have any issues with it. None whatsoever. No, no cons at all. And... Um, this is actually cheaper than the Tommy TP my husband bought because the Tommy TP he bought was like almost $20. It was ridiculous. For one bottle, I think. It was ridiculous. And he thought he bought like the greatest thing, you know, because it was priced like it was like one of the more expensive ones. But that's a, that's not really the case. So, um, anyway, what I uh, also when I do use this. I open this up. A lot of times I would tip it this way because it has, if you could see that, yeah, you could see it. It has, It's a little bit flat, so you could tip it this way. Hold on. I'm going to put my composition notebook, and if you could see, it lays flat like that. You know, so you don't contaminate. Obviously, I was moving my notebook. That's why it moved. But it, if it's just a, um, a stationary surface, it's not going to move. Um... Oh, I found one con. However, I don't remember washing the Tommy TP very often. But with this, what I've noticed, the con of it is because of the ridges, it actually doesn't dry out really fast. 
and I would, I mean, I think from, from trial and error, you really don't want to wipe, like, you want to air dry it. You don't want to wipe it with a rag or anything because there's going to be fuzzies that are going to be left. Believe me, that happened. I was, my baby had, like, um, fuzzies over here on the side of his face, and it was due to the, the, we were wiping it down because we needed a bottle, and I'm not going to do that again. So, I have about like nine of these I think I'm not sure the these came with two number one nipples and one number two nipple we only use the number one nipple because he's really young and he doesn't really he can't really feed as fast even with a one nipple so because I still want him to breastfeed still what I do is I tip it up like this so he's still sucking on it and he has to suck ten times and then I tip it down and give him five sucks on that and go on and I know it's time consuming but if you just feed him directly and not pace feed him what happens is that when he when he breastfeeds from me directly he will expect the breast milk to be the same like he would just lay there and milk is just gonna come out and that's not gonna happen so when that would happen is he would get angry frustrated bite me cry unlatch and it's just going to upset him more than it would upset me. So um, the pace feeding really does work. It's just It just takes a lot of time and patience to do it. And I know moms, you know, there's not a lot of time. So you do what you think is best. So anyway, this is, um, do I recommend this? Yes. Two thumbs up. Um, I will put a link down below and where to get this on Amazon that I got a really good deal on it and price wise. And, um, good luck on your baby. And this is the Munchkin Latch, the four ounce bottle. Um, also I was kind of planning on getting the eight ounce bottle, but you know, we'll see. Cause I have a bunch of these already. All right. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. It's Natasha. I hope you hit the, hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up and have any questions, comments. They're all also going to be available down below. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.